Aquarius, how are you? I hope you're doing well as usual and welcome to my channel. Okay, Aquarius. All right. Aquarius, this will be a general reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements. So if you have Aquarius in any of those placements in your chart, this is just a popular reading for you. Okay. Keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they're general. So just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Don't try to force or fit anything. And Aquarius, the best time for you to watch uh, see or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. That's the way it works. That's why my readings are timeless. Time is fluid. And Aquarius, don't just focus on your sun sign, okay? Try to focus also on your moon rising and Venus placements. Okay, see what signs you have in those uh, placements. You might want to check some of the videos I do for the, the other signs, according to the ones that you have there. Sometimes your messages may come more strongly from there. It all depends on your current situation or current time of your life, okay? Please do uh, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. Consider subscribing if you haven't done so. Um, all of that helps my channel grow. It's the best way to support the channel. And I do like to hear feedback from my viewers. And last but not least, of course, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, or if you would like to make a kind donation and support my channel through those means, all the info is in the description box down below. Keep in mind that's the only way that you can contact me. There's no other way and I do not reach out to anyone offering my services, so please be aware of any scams. Okay, of course. All right. Let's see what we have for you. Of course, the heart of the matter, what this reading will be about. For some of you, it's the current energy that you're dealing with or will be dealing with soon. Three of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. I got immediately something for some of you. Something about your job or your work environment, okay? You might feel a little, uh, I don't know, observed, tested, scrutinized, questioned, judged, I don't know. Kind of a funny energy there. Not very comfortable. But it seems that you're the hard worker here. And others just like to just watch you literally bust your ass and uh, just come to you and ask you questions, you know. That's for some of you and for, you know, um, you might feel tested. I don't know. It's, it's weird energy to start to reading with, but we're just starting off. Okay, let's not, let's, this is just a, don't, don't, this, doesn't have to be exactly like this, okay? But of course, the energy that's crossing you and could be challenging you. This could be a blockage. Seven of Swords. This card, this energy is usually about, um, you know, well, this card usually has this uh, interpretation of something being sneaky or some trickery going on behind your back. But uh, maybe there is some sneakiness going on behind your back actually. You have to be a little careful with this. Okay, let me see. The energy that is crowning you in your conscious mind, you do see clearly. You are aware of this and you're constantly thinking of it. It's a ten of swords. So you feel that you've been backstabbed, betrayed, misunderstood, judged. Hmm. Okay. The energy below you in your subconscious mind, what you're not aware of, and maybe you should because the divine would like you 
to focus more on this or put your energy more into this okay it's usually even your higher self talking to you you have to listen to it okay it's a temperance card sagittarius energy they want you to stay focused balanced unaffected by things okay don't let things get to you focus on your own energy on your own alchemy okay do your magic focus on your magic I understand that there are some letters written on the chest of the temperance card. You can Google it up because the camera won't focus so well, but it's Hebrew. And I think it's Torah, the same words that uh, the high priestess has on her book, the Torah. And Torah is also Tarot, but it's just a playing of, of the letters, okay? It's something about trust in the tarot, what I'm, I'm getting here. Okay, trust in the trust in the magic, trust you will find answers if you need them through tarot also. Okay, but just be mindful. Um, it's very hard to read for yourself if you do that, okay? So you always have to have someone else to read for you. Uh, just be mindful of who does it for you. Make sure they always want the best for you. They have the best intentions for you. And that they are, you know, true and loyal readers. Okay? Aquarius, the energy behind you, your recent past, something that happened for you as you go through, for you to go through this process or path in your life. Or this is just simply the energy where you're coming from is the full Aries energy. This is that desire for a new beginning, for things to change, for things to a risk. You are willing to risk, okay? For a new beginning. I think you feel like you are being guided to do so. Be careful um, for those of you who might resonate, okay? To do, to definitely watch and observe what's going on around you. Okay, it's great to be dreamy and all, yeah looking up at the sky and being careless but just be careful of not being too careless and okay that's for some of you but but you really want to new start fresh start and you're willing to take the risks or you might be willing to take the risk if it's necessary it all depends The energy in front of you, where you're headed to, what's coming towards you, the near future for some of you, is the Page of Cups. This is an energy of someone who's not emotionally stable, but it's also an energy of someone who doesn't really know what they want at an emotional state, okay? We could call that emotionally unstable in a way, but it doesn't mean that it's bad, okay? It's just not knowing what, what it is that you want right now. And I think you're going to have to reconsider your options right now. What is it? I think you're going to have to ask yourself, what is it? What I truly want now. Okay. I think this is where you're going to have to, you know, put everything aside for a minute and focus more on you. Just you. Some of you might be dealing with someone who is a little bit manipulative or they like to change things, you know, to their own favor. Okay. 
It's probably that energy that you're dealing with, you know. You're being asked to to focus on yourself here, okay? And then your own energy. And try not to continuously keep thinking about this betrayal, okay? Aquarius, the energy that is representing you or how you see yourself or how you're responding to a situation or maybe even how you feel about it is the Six of Cups. You know, I get a sense that... I'm sorry, I lost some mosquitoes. Tinkerbell. And the vampire version of Tinkerbell. I'm sorry. <laughs> Innocence, just as my stupid joke, okay? Um, remain innocent as a child. Don't lose your innocence. Yes, don't let anything affect you. Remain. with the spirit of a child and be curious and innocent and dare to do things, okay? Dare to do new, different things because you want to be curious, you want to be innocent like a child. It's very important, okay? Dare to be different, dare to be weird. If you think you're weird, it's okay to be weird. That will always help you survive. And always take time to stop and smell the flowers. And that's in literally or in any way you want to see it, okay? Always take a time to just, okay? Aquarius, the energy that's surrounding you, it's influencing you. Emperor, Aries energy. This is this energy of you wanting to step up and be more in control of your life, be more in control of things for you and doing it for you, okay? It's a lot of wisdom, self-support, okay? And some of you have been dealing with an energy that, you know, could not have been the best, a little too demanding. And this energy is also influencing you or affecting you to change things in your life. Because yeah. sometimes even toxic people who cross our paths are meant to cross our paths for us to change and grow and become a better and stronger version of ourselves. I think this is more you becoming stronger in your hopes and fears. He's a pentacles. Okay? You're hoping for the stable beginning or change. It could be financial, it could, it could be emotional, it could be in any sense, but you want this stability. And you're asking yourself, Am I, will I ever get this? Yes, you will. You damn well you know you will because the divine in you have seen what you've been through and what you have had to put up with okay but the important thing here is that you maintain focused on your own alchemy on your own magic okay and remain innocent and playful that's very important always talk to your inner child always play with your inner child Okay. Yes, you can have this. Of course you can. But you have to stop thinking about the betrayal. Outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice, is the Queen of Cups. It's healing. Maybe even forgiveness, okay? That, when I say forgiveness, you don't have to go pick up the phone and call, dial someone and call them and tell them, hey, I forgive you. Goodbye. But now, if you need to do it, by all means, go ahead. But just... For those of you 
maybe you just need to make peace with the situation. Just, you know, sit down one day and say, I know why, I understand now why it happened. It was part of my path. I had to go through this. People are jerks, you know, some people are jerks. They can't help themselves, you know, can't go around expecting what I would expect of myself from others, you know. That's a big mistake, you know. <laughs> because you know who you are. You know you have the most beautiful cup, you know. And not everybody has the prettiest cup. <laughs> See the difference? It's just, it's just, okay. Do things with love. Do what truly fulfills you. Okay, heal, forgive and treat yourself and focus on your own beauty in out wherever okay it's a nice reading Aquarius this is for you to step into your power to a higher self a higher version of yourself bottom of the deck really a higher version of yourself okay this is you ascending connecting with the divine that's your card Aquarius the star energy I mean this is a reading made just for you right it fits just like a glove stay focused balance yourself heal oh and please keep having faith it's very important you continue having faith okay please life is not a vacation resort okay it was never meant to be you have to always remember that we are placed here to go through this so that then we can go through amazing things and get to where we want to go and it's their cycles. Remember that. Okay, let me get uh, additional message or advice or warning if there's one, anything that I might be missing. And then we'll close your reading with the Spirit of the Animals deck. Well, Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. Let's just see what, what else I could be missing, okay? I always like to reinforce, I've been doing this lately, and I really like to reinforce the reading with anything additional that might, might need to be seen. Okay. If there's something else that you would like to tell Aquarius, something important that I might be missing, or anything regarding this reading or situation, what would it be? Please be as clear as possible. Thank you. Ace of Swords. Okay, that's your energy, your energy. It's the ending. Okay, 10, and then we're going to start again with an Ace, with a new clear mindset, a new beginning. Okay, but you had to go through some things here. Okay, Nine of Cups. You know, everybody always wants the Ten of Cups. Yeah. You don't want the Ten of Cups. You want the Nine of Cups. Always. First, at least. Because there's just no possible way you can get to the Ten of Cups if you're not in that Nine of Cup energy first. It's about your own emotional stability. Queen of Cups is telling you that. Be innocent. Be playful. Okay? Focus on your, on your emotions. And avoid emotional people or people who try to trick you emotionally or even yourself, okay? Be true and loyal with what you truly want and desire in life. That's this. You want to always be happy with what you do and what you have. Okay, let's close your reading with the Spirit of the Animals Oracle. I'll send you off the Aquarius, this 
a message may or may not come from a spirit animal or a spirit guide, but it may come from an animal that you feel very connected to or are very connected to. We just take it as it resonates the best way it does for you. Okay, thank you. Tiger, fire. Some of you might have some fire in your charts, okay? Some of you might be even a tiger in the Chinese zodiac. I don't know. Okay, and the tiger is saying, I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold and I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. You are being watched over, okay? But you have to continue having faith. It's very important and focus on your own energy. Alchemy, alchemy, very important, okay? And it starts from very deep within you, maybe even from your most deepest inner child version of you, okay? All right. Aquarius, that's the best I can do for you. I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance that you are seeking at this moment of your life. If you like it, if you enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. I would truly appreciate it very much. Aquarius, I hope to see you next time. And as usual, please stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye, Aquarius.